The JoLynn Braley Show, Episode 25, How She Stopped Binge Eating After 30 Years. Hello and welcome. This is JoLynn Braley and this is the JoLynn Braley Show. I am a weight loss mindset expert and founder of the Inner Self Diet. The Inner Self Diet is my proven proprietary step-by-step system to permanent weight loss through a weight loss mindset. Why is a weight loss mindset so gosh darned important? Here's why. Because Mindset is 90% of the game if what you want is struggle-free permanent success with your weight. Get your mindset sorted out. Get your inner self in alignment with the body and the healthy lifestyle that you need to and want to live on the outside in order to have the body that you want. And then it will be easy to take the physical actions to drop the fat and keep it off. I'm a certified master NLP practitioner and coach, and I combine all of my skills and my certifications along with law of attraction and my own intuition to mentor my clients to permanent weight loss. It works over and over and over again for my awesome, inspiring people that I work with. And why does it work? Because they do the steps. Here's a secret. There is no magic. If you want to get different results in your life, if you want different results in your body, if you want to feel fantastic about yourself, if you want to live in the body that you've always wanted to live in, then you've got to do something radically different. You're not going to get results from, you're not going to get the type of results that you want from doing the same things that you're doing now. The things that you're doing now are giving you the results that you're getting now and the results that you've been getting throughout your lifetime of struggle with food and your weight. So, very, very important to note that, yes, it uh, you can have struggle-free permanent weight loss, and the way to get it is by actually doing proven steps to get it. That is the way to... Leave all of your emotional eating, your binge eating, night eating, stuffing yourself, food obsessions, all of the the beating yourself up that you do, telling yourself that you're bad or wrong or fat or stupid, when the truth is that you're not stupid at all. You're very, very smart, and you clearly can see that in your life, in the wonderful success that you've already achieved in your career, your business life. So this problem, this is not a problem of intelligence. If the intelligent part of you that has gotten you to where you are today in your career and business life and possibly even in your relationships, you may be having success in your relationships, but if that intelligent part of you could have solved this issue that you have with the overeating, the emotional eating, you might call it sugar addiction, uh, the abuse that you inflict on yourself and the self-sabotage that does not allow you to lose the weight and keep it off, if that highly intelligent part of you could have solved this problem for you years ago, then it would have already done it, wouldn't it? And I'm sure that you agree, of course it would have. So here on today's show, this is a very exciting show, what we are going to cover and talk about is the topic of how she stopped binge eating after 30 years. And what I'm going to share with you is an excerpt from an interview with one of the graduates of the Inner Self Diet. Her name is Holly. And if you'd like to listen to the full interview, then here's how you can do that. If you are listening to this episode of the JoLynn Braley Show, on fearlessfatloss.com, then what you have in front of you there is an article, a blog post that has 
this podcast in the article and also you can see that there is another audio player in the article that is the audio player for the full interview that I did with Holly. If you'd like to listen to that, please do. So, a little bit about Holly before we listen to what she has to say. Uh, she was struggling for, you'll hear her say, it was actually over 30 years. And she wasn't very overweight. That wasn't the problem. And that's how it is for a lot of the folks that I work with. You can feel even worse and feel even fr more frustrated and fed up with yourself being only 10, 15, maybe 20 pounds overweight, you might feel more stress and anxiety and frustration within yourself than someone else who is 100 pounds or more overweight. This is all about your mindset. And there are folks out there who they they don't like being 100 pounds or more overweight. It's very painful that the body, the human body, is not set up to carry that much weight. It's it's very difficult. It's it's uh, hard on your joints. It's hard on your knees. It's hard on your back. Uh, fat does not only collect on your butt and thighs and stomach, but it also collects and is on the inside of your your abdomen it, it's inside your body so there is fat that is around your organs when you are overweight so um, what I'm saying here is that people who are obese they it's not that they like being like that but there are people who have the mindset that they have just given up on themselves they either don't believe that they could ever lose the weight they they don't believe that they're worth it or they uh, they they just feel so down about it that they don't know how to get out of it. Now, could they get out of it? Absolutely. You are not meant to live in a body that feels bad. You're not meant to live a life that feels bad. You're actually meant to feel really, really, really good about yourself. But in order to have that kind of a life and have that kind of a result in your body where you're feeling fantastic in your body, where you're living in the body of your dreams, where you're fit and healthy, you've got to make core changes on the inside. And for most people, that's very, very difficult to do alone. The reason being that you're so, you're so ingrained in, in your patterns and in your, your way of thinking and your beliefs, beliefs are massive. You will, you will prove your beliefs right always. So if you have the belief that it's hard to lose weight or you can't lose weight or that you never will or that nobody can help you or that there's no program out there, even, even the best coaching program that's already proven on this planet, that even that couldn't help you. If you believe that, if you believe that the inner self diet could never help you, then you will prove that belief correct. Now, hopefully, you are not in that place, and you do have belief in yourself, and you do have belief that with a proven system, that as long as you do the steps, you can get the results. Interestingly enough, if you listen to the full interview with Holly, you'll hear her share that she was skeptical before she did the inner self diet. And again, you can listen to that full interview. You'll see that in the blog post at fearlessfatloss.com if you are listening to this podcast there. If you're listening to this podcast on iTunes, then here's what you can do. Go to fearlessfatloss.com forward slash blog, and then you'll see some tags over in the right-hand column. Now, let me qualify this. If you're listening to this years from now, I mean, the website might have changed, but at the time of this recording, this is how you can do it. Look at the tags over in the right-hand column, and you'll see one that says the JoLynn Braley Show, and you'll also see one that says Weight Loss Mindset Podcast. If you click on either one of those, then you'll get a whole list of all of the episodes of the JoLynn Braley Show, and just go to episode 25, and then you can listen to Holly's full interview. So let's go ahead and listen to what Holly has to say now. Hello, this is JoLynn Braley, the FAT Release Coach, which boils down to being a permanent weight loss coach and mentor. And right now, I'm here on the call 
with one of my awesome clients. Her name is Holly. Right now she's calling in from Bucharest, Romania. We started out this whole journey together. Um, Holly was in Scotland. She's actually from the United States. I really applaud Holly for the fact that, you know, nothing has stopped her in uh, in doing this journey. And, and I just think it's so cool that right now you're here on the line calling in from Bucharest. So <laughs> welcome to the call, Holly. <laughs> Hi, Jolyn. Hi. Thanks so much for being here. And I would love to hear from you, since you have just completed this process, this journey to get out of your own way to achieve permanent success with you, with how you deal with food, with your weight, with all of that good stuff. What was your biggest challenge with the food and weight topic before we ever met? Well, I have been a binger, a food binger for, oh, gee, about... uh, 30 years, uh, more probably, and uh, I'd binge and then think I was over it and then it would come back and uh, I'm not uh, hugely overweight or I wasn't hugely overweight, uh, but I, I, you know, went through being thin and being fat, but the biggest problem was binging, uh, making myself sick. Um, and uh, not being able to control what I ate, either eating way too much or nothing at all. Mm-hmm. And back then, Holly, how did that feel to live like that, to live in that in that uh, struggle for 30 or more years? How did that feel? Well, uh, I felt hopeless a lot of the time in, in relationship to my food problem. Uh, I just didn't see a way out. I I'd, I'd tried to... Uh, get help before uh, through various groups or individuals, and nothing really seemed to work for me for long term. Mm-hmm. And um, and physically, I mean, half the time I was really sick throughout the day, just feeling nauseous and or starving myself. So I never was feeling really great. Mm-hmm. And thank you for sharing that. Mm-hmm. I want to emphasize, though, that that was the old Holly. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. And, in fact, even talking about that now, I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> I don't like to bring back the negative uh, because I'm feeling so great now. And um, I, I really feel like I've changed my eating, beha- eating behavior uh, mm-hmm. for the better, and it's been easy. Well, good. And, and that's what I'd love to hear more about just specifically. So, so what is that like for you now, now that you've gone through this step-by-step proven system to permanent weight loss and maintenance and you've come out on the other end? Of course, we've got to emphasize that you did the work. You know, you did do the action steps to get to where you are. This wasn't by magic, correct? That, that's right. That's yeah. right. Um, with, with your uh, weekly assignments, um, I, I did them. I did the work, and uh, but uh, the thing that was not uh, that didn't take effort was stopping myself from eating. The 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 assignments took effort, mm-hmm. but it wasn't a struggle to do the assignments. But it certainly wasn't do a struggle to uh, clean up my eating ha- behavior. It was easy. Mm. That part was easy. So then, when I write about it being struggle free, I promote struggle free weight loss and all of that, would you please share, is that really true? What, what's that, really your experience with that? That is absolutely true. And uh, I think uh, when uh, we first talked, we had some emails going back and forth about that is impossible, that it could be uh, without struggle or that could be without effort. And, and uh, um, you emphasize struggle because it does take effort, but it has been struggle-free, meaning that, uh, if I did the weekly assignments, which I, I would say it didn't come easy for me in the beginning, but once I got into the rhythm of them uh, and the habit of doing them, it, the, the eating behavior, uh, correcting my eating behavior, was struggle-free, and, and mm-hmm. that is the truth. It was, mm-hmm. not, it was not a struggle. Yeah, and when you say that it it took some effort for you in the beginning to do different things as far as the exercises, the assignments that that you were given to do, that makes a lot of sense, though, doesn't it? Because you have to do something different to get different results. That's right. That's right. 
yeah, it was a matter of kind of getting into the swing of things, you know, getting into mm-hmm. the routine, uh, taking the uh, challenge, really taking the challenge upon myself, deciding for sure that this was it. And mm-hmm. uh, about the second week, I kind of tuned in and decided, oh, yeah, this is really it. And I, you mm-hmm. know, jumped on board, and it was it was an amazing process, and it was a lot of fun, too. Good, good. And... I applaud you and I congratulate you for, again, you know, taking the action. It's so easy to just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, but just like Einstein said, that's the definition of insanity, to continue to do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. Right. You have to actually do something different to get a different result and if you've been doing something like you had been for over 30 years, this overeating and the binging and abusing yourself, it makes a lot of sense that to do something so different so that then you could easily change how you were eating, that, yeah, it would be different and you would have to actually apply yourself. That's right. And be open to new techniques, and that's what I liked about your program. It was fun because I never knew what to expect next. Hmm, <laughs> it was that's a, cool. a new tech. Yeah, there was there were <laughs> there were things I had never done before, but they were fun to do. They they really caught my imagination, and it was a fun program. And it w- it was things I had never done before. So I guess that's why I got new results. <laughs> yeah. Well. I And I wouldn't say that I guess that's why you got new results. It's because, mm-hmm. that, that I mean, that is why you got new yeah. results. Right. But what do you say about that? I mean, you're the one living the experience. Yeah, I got, I got brand new struggle-free results because I dared jump in and do exactly what you told us. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, regardless of what I'd learned before, regardless of what I knew about uh, weight loss, I jumped in and I did what you told us. I mm-hmm. did new things. I got new results. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how does that feel to be living those results now? I feel great. I feel great. I can go shopping. I like what I look at, look like. Um, mm-hmm. I... I I'm very, um, I'm not over judgmental about what I look like. I feel good about myself. I like myself. And I enjoy taking care of myself. That's, that's a, something else that I got from this course is I'm realizing it takes time to take care of yourself, but it's fun. You know, mm-hmm. you've got to, you've got to, uh, uh, you know, you've got to shop in order to have clothes that you look good in. You can't expect to wear the same clothes all the time as they wear out and, and still look good. Mm-hmm. You've got to, mm-hmm. you know, you've got to, it's just like, you know, you've got to keep your hair cut. You've got to, you've got to do your makeup. You, you have to take care of your body. You have to plan your food. It's, mm-hmm. it's the same thing. It's all part of taking care of oneself. Mm-hmm. And when it's struggle-free, though, what's the big deal? Right. I mean, it is, it's enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Holly, for that woman who's listening to this right now who can relate to you, and she's very smart like you are, very strong, spiritual, and she's an action taker like you, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but she's living in that pain and that hopelessness where you used to be, that pain of she feels like she can't stop eating. Mm-hmm. and this ongoing struggle and this back-and-forth thing of binging and then starving and then this ongoing cycle, and she's stuck in it, and she's listening to you and thinking, wow, that's cool for her that she got that, but you know, how do I know that I could do the same thing? How do I know that this process, this step-by-step proven system that Holly went through with JoLynn's mentoring how do I know that that would even work for me? And she's so stuck in that muckmire of feeling so bad that it's really, it's not only frustrating, but it's a real challenge for her to see her way out. What, if, if you could, if you had her in front of you right now and you could look her in the eye, what would you say to her? What would you, and you know what this would almost be like is talking to the old you. Mm-hmm. What what would you say to this woman 
who desperately needs help, but of course she's the only one that can reach out to get that help. What would you say to her? I would look at her and say that you do need help. Don't fool yourself and think you can do it on your own, number one. And number two, think about how much money you've already put out for diets. And I guarantee you, based on my results, that this will work for you if you just, if you follow what Jolene says and jump into it, you know, with with all your might and get in there and get ready to have fun, it will make you feel better immediately. So you may still be binging for the first week or so, but with Jolene's program, you feel better immediately. And that was the key for me. Um, I realized that I wasn't feeling good. I wasn't feeling happy. And with Jolene's program, you will feel better immediately. And I would say, do it. There's, it's just the best thing that I have found, and it works. All right. What a great interview, and congratulations to Holly for getting these fantastic results. Going from a place of being so out of control with her eating for over 30 years to the place where it's easy for her to eat healthy, it's easy for her to eat as a normal person, you could say, and there's no more of this binge eating. And when it, just like she said, when it's struggle-free to do that, then it's very enjoyable to actually take care of yourself, to take care of your body, to plan your food. And what makes it easy to do those things that are part of a healthy lifestyle is the mindset. And that is a result of the Inner Self Diet. And before we go any further, if you would love to have the results of putting an end to your emotional eating, putting an end to your binge eating, putting an end to the frustration, being able to actually live a healthy and fit lifestyle without struggling, without having to find willpower or find motivation or make resolutions to make yourself do things that you don't even want to do and then you end up sabotaging yourself anyway. If you'd like to put an end to all of that, your first step is to do exactly the same thing that Holly did. So the way that you do that is go to fearlessfatloss.com forward slash call, C-A-L-L, Fill out that application fully with complete details, and if your application qualifies, then you will receive an email to schedule schedule you for a complimentary weight loss discovery session. Once again, you can do that at fearlessfatloss.com forward slash call, C-A-L-L. Okay, it's time for a quick commercial break, and this week's sponsor of the JoLynn Braley Show is 31 Days of Loving Yourself Thin. And you can find 31 Days of Loving Yourself Thin at loveyouthin.com. That is an online course that you can take immediate, immediate action with to begin feeling better about yourself right now and to make weight loss easier for yourself right now. Once again, you can find that at loveyouthin.com. So the questions to ask yourself on this episode of the JoLynn Braley Show, I do highly recommend that you write these down pen on paper. Each week I give you questions that you can answer for yourself and they will help you gain more clarity about where you're at and what exactly you're going to do about this problem that you've got. Obviously this is not the same as working with me in the inner self diet because that does require two-way communication in order to get to the bottom of your ongoing food and weight struggles and actually heal the root of them so that you can have the same results that Holly talked about today. So the first question to ask yourself, what if you could put all of your food and weight struggles behind you? 
What if you really could put all of your food and weight struggles behind you? What exactly would change in your life? And make a list of everything that would change in your life if you could actually have the result of being able to live healthy and fit without struggle. Actually enjoying it. So what would change in the area of family? Family covers all relationships. Whether you're married or not, that covers relationships with friends, family, co-workers, clients, employers. That's the category of family. And then what exactly would change in the area of fitness? Obviously, that uh, should be or likely would be an easy one for you to make a list of everything that would change there uh, if right now you have a problem walking upstairs without getting out of breath then clearly that would be something that would change for you if you could live a healthy lifestyle without struggle what would change in the area of your finances just imagine if you felt so good in your own skin and you had so much confidence in you because you finally solve this one problem that has eluded you your entire life and granted you do already have success in the area of your career and business life this is true but how much more could you do in your life financially how much more abundance could you allow in if you felt so wonderful in your own skin and if you were treating yourself with love and respect each day treating your body with love and respect by being able to easily and joyfully live a healthy and fit lifestyle keeping in mind that the increase in your financial abundance money is energy money is energy and the more of that you are allowing into your life simply shows that you are helping even more people and you are able to then help others in your life and uh, when when you are holding that energy back then you are also I guarantee holding back the energy of love and joy in your life everything is energy money is no different and uh, this could be a total total actually it could be an entire series of podcasts when you don't believe that you deserve to live in the body of your dreams more than likely you are not believing that you deserve other things in your life and your finances are impacted again that does not mean that you do not have a certain level of success in your life but how much more success and ease and joy could you have for yourself and your loved ones and then the fourth category of what exactly would change in your life if you could actually put all of your food and weight struggles behind you and the emotional eating and the binge eating and the self-sabotage, all of that. Uh, the fourth category is the area of faith. And this is not necessarily about religion. It's about spirituality and your belief that you really are a part of this universe, that you're a part of the whole, that you are a part of all that is and if you could finally feel so wonderful about you how would that impact your faith and your belief in all other areas of your life and in the faith and belief in humanity and in this wonderful place that we live in here on this earth how would that impact your belief and your faith in universe, the universe this is a, a much bigger topic but just imagine when you feel so bad about yourself and you're so out of control with your eating it's very difficult for you to have very much hope and faith in anything isn't it because it's just a, a, a low vibration when you are in so much struggle with food and your weight so those are very important questions for you to ask yourself today and write those all down pen on paper if you are only listening to me and you're not following through with the action step of writing these down pen on paper then you are missing out 
in clarity and actually uh, gaining some inspiration for yourself to move forward. Now, move forward towards what? Move forward towards actually getting a weight loss mindset. And what is the quickest and easiest way to do that? The quickest and easiest way to get a weight loss mindset which is essential for achieving permanent struggle-free success with your weight, is to hire a professional mentor who already has the proven system to success that will put an end to your years of struggle with yourself and with your weight. And this is exactly what I do with my permanent weight loss coaching clients. This is exactly how Holly got her results. And again, your first step to actually get the results that Holly has talked about is to apply for a complimentary weight loss discovery session with me and you can do that at fearlessfatloss.com forward slash call C-A-L-L All right, shout outs to get a shout out from me on the JoLynn Braley Show all you need to do is go to our Facebook page and that's over at the JoLynnBraleyShow.com. Click like on the page and I will give you a shout out on an upcoming episode. It's really easy. It's fun. I only use your first name and it's very simple to do. You'll also stay updated on the the uh, episodes of the JoLynn Braley Show as they come out. All right. A quick recap of what you learned today. You learned that even after... 30 years of a pattern, whether that's binge eating, emotional eating, sabotaging yourself, whatever it is that you've been doing to yourself to hold yourself back from living in the body of your dreams and doing it without struggle, you learn today that even after 30 years of doing that, that you can actually change and get to the other side where it's easy for you to eat healthy, it's easy for you to put food in your body only when you're hungry and stop stop when you're full. All of this that you learned today through Holly and through everything else I shared with you, you also learned that it does take action to actually get results. You've got to do something vastly different in order to get vastly different results. You also learned that you don't have to be extremely overweight or 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 obese to be feeling so much struggle with your body and with yourself. Another thing that you learned is that the inner self diet is the answer. That's pretty simple. Very simple and I I can't put it any, any simpler. The inner self diet always works. You have to just do the steps. So, be sure to go over to thejoelynnbraleyshow.com and click like on our Facebook page. You'll get a shout out from me on an upcoming show. And if you're subscribed to the Joelyn Braley Show on iTunes, go ahead and give the show a five-star rating. The purpose here is to help you break out of that diet mentality that will never get you permanent weight loss. And I am 100% confident that... If you have been listening to the show for more than one episode, that you have already gotten that message. Now, next week's episode is the sixth Get Real episode of the year, and the topic is three ways you're keeping yourself overweight and stuck. This is JoLynn Braley, weight loss mindset expert, founder of the Inner Self Diet, and you have been listening to the JoLynn Braley Show. Head on over to fearlessfatloss.com to learn more. And you can also grab my free five-day e-course while you're there. And that will help you answer the question, is your mindset fit or F-A-T? Here's to your best life in your ideal body.